Entendeu? That's a form of communism because no country could afford those payments without seizing the assets of everybody else. <laughs> What? <laughs> Welcome to Finland. Are you still working out yet? Oh. <laughs> Dudes, what's going on? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> it's making me so mad. I don't, I, ah! I mean, come on, guys. It's it's not that hard. Look around the world. Everyone else seems to have figured it out, right? Please don't forget to subscribe because a lot of people that watch my videos don't subscribe apparently and hit that bell. Imagine you're in America. Which of these options would be best for you? Hmm. That's a... Uh, yeah, that's... It's a lot to think about. Oh, also... This doesn't even... Uh, this doesn't even get into... Hey, guys. The fun part about this... Yeah, I just recently did this, so... Let me tell you. The fun part about this entire process is that it doesn't even talk about uh, PPOs versus HMOs versus... Uh, more complex, uh, more complex fucking forms of insurance where you pick and choose different parts that you want coverage on. So, you know, you have uh, provider networks. Like, is it in network? Is it? Uh, does your insurance plan allow you to go to the hospital that is out of your network? So, yeah, there's a POS plan. It's great. Oof, 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 oof. What is it? An oop max. I guess with what I got here, I would go with plan out of pocket. Maximum out of pocket maximum uh, that you have to pay. D because the deductible is zero. Okay, there's there's more gold HMO. Uh, oh, here it is. PPO PPO HMO. And what are copays? I I don't. Get... That's like if you pay for Spotify Premium and Spotify still makes you pay every time you listen to a song. It's too complicated. I'm lost. I'm so lost. In Canada, I don't have to really think about the diff, you know, different plans that I could pick from. You just pay one amount um, per month and all the major treatments are covered. At least 70% of our medical expenses are always covered. That's communism! Triggering the fuck out of me! You fucking kidding me? I need my insurance program to resemble Motherfucking DLCs like a goddamn EA video game. I need to make sure that if I'm purchasing insurance, that I'm subscribing with a monthly fee, and then also on top of that, I want to make sure that to unlock the rest of the insurance, I got to pay more. I need this shit to have microtransactions, brother. Uninsured, unable to afford treatment for a tooth infection that keeps flaring up. Ooh. Oh, Cook Emma Rittner lost her job in March. I did manage to get antibiotics from a friend whose mom regularly goes down to Mexico, and I've been taking that, um, self-medicating, uh, based off of Dr. Google's advice. Dr. Google's advice. Here in Japan, even if you lose a job, you would never lose your health insurance. When you lose your job, that's when society should... I've said this before. Domestically, it's the worst thing that America, the American government has done to its people. Like, bar none. I'm sorry. Like, our healthcare industry is the most cruel and unusual thing that any modern, contemporary OECD nation has done to its own citizens. Straight up. It's even worse. I would go so far as to say it's even worse than our fucking criminal justice system and even worse than our carceral system in, in general. Domestically, it is absolutely, completely, bar none, psychopathic. Uh, also, uh, even if you were to talk about the criminal justice system, for example, well, okay, criminal justice system disproportionately targets black and brown people, fine, but so does the healthcare system. So, it is the most abhorrent, the most violent thing that the healthcare system does. Or that the American government does to its own citizens. Straight up. Help you. I've chosen a creative job and had the backing of a healthcare system. Motherfucker be like slavery and internment camps. I'm talking about right now. That's why I said 
contemporary comparable OECD nations, dude. Like, like obviously, I'm not talking about slavery, okay? But if you don't have that, do you pick the safe job or do you pick the creative job? The average price per unit for insulin in 2018 Germany, $11. Canada's $12. Well, I was going to say, where is the United States? Because I didn't see anything resembling $100. Wow. It's like eight times the price of uh, insulin in Canada. I guess that explains why Americans come up to Canada to buy medication. <laughs> Stop laughing. Stop laughing, motherfucker. This is triggering me. This is, oh God, this is literally all of you in the chat. All of you fucking Euro cucks. All of you fucking Canada motherfuckers like, oh, Oh, what's going on down there, eh? The, uh, sorry, I'm sorry, hold on. So the FDA doesn't have any authority over the prices? We have also privatized health insurance. There is one form of authority in the form of legislation, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who do not know, which makes it actually illegal. With the exception of the VA, which recently got that right under, I think it was like under the Obama administration, uh, in the last couple of years under the Obama administration, the American pharmaceutical industry has such a strong stranglehold or rather a stronghold over uh, the way that legislation is written in this country that it is literally illegal to make big uh it is literally illegal to make collective bargaining agreements that lower medication pricing in this country you just cannot do it okay they said it straight up like the the expensive mediators the expensive middlemen like the insurance uh industry cannot lower pharmaceutical prices when they're purchasing this is the only country on the planet where we not only where we not only are not where we not only don't uh lower medical uh prices uh medicare is banned from negotiating pharmaceutical prices yes medicare is banned from negotiating pharmaceutical prices we are the only country where it's illegal to do so. Every other country on the planet purchases medication for their single payer healthcare systems or the universal healthcare systems. And when they're purchasing it, they bargain and, and lower the prices, which is part of the reason why this happens. Where the price of insulin is uh, fucking $6 in australia but it's 98 dollars in the united states of america wow it's like eight times negotiates the prices and fixes that price in oh, germany here. over the prices we have also privatized health insurance companies in germany but the prices uh, are regulated by the government yes healthcare in germany is technically private but there is severe price regulation over the way healthcare works so you have the option to pick and choose whichever program that you're going to pick and choose. Uh, but those programs are not trying to fuck you or can't fuck you because they're controlled by the government. The government. And even if you can't afford any of those programs, there's still uh, some form of health care coverage that you can get by the government. Negotiates the prices and fixes that price for two years. In Singapore, they regulate this stuff to keep the prices down and, you know, avoid like this happening. Right, so I'm looking at an American medical bill. Why is it so expensive? $428,000 for rooms and such empty spaces. What? It's much cheaper to go Hilton Hotel than this one. <laughs> skin to skin after a C-section is $39. I had to pay $39.35 to hold my baby after he... Yup. 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 The reason why hospital prices are this expensive is because they're so fucking, there is no, again, the mediator does not give a shit. The mediator, the insurance company, literally just offsets the cost back to you, the consumer, the customer, the sick person. So they have no incentive whatsoever to like actually fucking operate and, and try to bargain and lower prices at hospitals. Okay. And the other reason is most people simply cannot fucking pay. So because a lot of people simply cannot fucking pay and there's a lot of medical debt, they literally jack up the prices so that like each fucking 
Hal's uh, throat uh, lozenge that you take is like 90 fucking dollars because the people that can pay have to pay for the rest of the fucking entire uh, industry or for the rest of the entire... Uh, they're, they're basically like double insurance. They're covering everyone else. Is $39. I had to pay $39.35. Well, you get a discount, brother, if you don't touch your baby after, uh, you know, your baby is born. Just keep it there. It's a $40 discount, brother. That's called freedom. Says to hold my baby after he was born. You need to pay money to hold a baby? Goddamn communist. My brother Jamie, who's in a lot of our videos, was pretty badly injured. He's going to lose a couple fingers. Uh, if you can give a dollar or if you can give five dollars, every little bit will help him and his family. That's heartbreaking. I. I... GoFundMe should not be something. Literally, greatest nation on earth, boys, where we have set up a website that was designated to like create, you know, and fund uh, creative endeavors. And that website functionally operates as a uh, e-begging platform so you can fund your fucking healthcare. That is if you're lucky, of course. If you're not lucky, then you don't get shit and you fucking die or uh, take on uh, medical debt. Something that people have to resort to to pay for their medical bills. So in America, people spend more than twice as much as in Japan for healthcare. You know, if I paid twice the amount for a car, I would. This is literally adjusted to how privatized the system is. Switzerland's system is a, the most private system in comparison to the rest of the EU nations and the rest of the OECD nations. Would want the car to be twice as good. So what's, what's the life expectancy in the US? <laughs> Why is it less? The US should be on top of both of those we're number one, brother. That's why. What? You mean to goddamn tell me that living for for less for uh you know you you get to you get to speed run live, brother. You fucking commie bastards. Goddamn, you don't understand it. You, I'm speed running. That's the end point for me, brother. Good enough. What you fail to consider here, my friends, is that uh. I like pain to lose. I, I like pain to the speed run through fucking life like this. Like if you're charging your citizens that much money, then they better be living the longest lives. It, it, it doesn't make sense. When Alec turned 26, he was no longer allowed on his mother's insurance plan. Instead, he decided to pay for his insulin over the counter at list price. But the pharmacist told him a month's supply would be $1,300. He left empty handed. Alex's official cause of death was diabetic ketoacidosis. A couple yep. of years ago, I developed a heart condition and I had to have my heart restarted three times uh, after the... Hey, brother, hey, in America, you, uh, we, you know, we give you the fourth one for free. So, you know, we got a punch card, brother. See, freedom. Just kidding. You fucking die on the fourth one. We don't give a fuck. The third time I had but it... That's freedom! Started, the doctor suggested I get heart surgery. When I was 13, I started to get sick and really, really sick. I was then very quickly admitted into hospital where after three weeks, I had treatment for a brain virus. The cost of the operation, I think, is about $60,000. Uh, and then uh, the next day when I left the hospital and I got my bill, it was a bill for parking. It was about 30 bucks. I was treated by royal doctors, had several MRIs, lumbar punctures, all for free. So I, I was pretty happy that I, uh, I lived in Canada and had universal health care. I couldn't have survived if I was in America. To know that I can get sick, I can get injured, but I will still be taken care of. That is freedom. This is not freedom. Like Europeans look at this and they're like, what the fuck? That's crazy. And here we are in the United States, uh, totally just numb. Absolutely numb to this shit. Like, absolutely numb to this, dude. I, 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 yeah, I've heard uh, diabetic people dying so many times that it's just like, yeah, it's, that's it.